online students can you hear my voice say sir no to me friends right okay thank you so the last class i updated your uh, uh, notes by night yesterday hope morning time is there or not i don't know but uh, you complete today let me review on that uh, http session once again for 5 minutes <coughs> now i am comfort if i stand it right <clears throat> anybody typed the program in the morning if time is there uh, anybody typed in the morning right everybody okay uh, errors will come i think i don't know uh, hope you are rectifying the errors lab faculties hope right <clears throat> so http session let me repeat once only two types will be there for you in real time cookie and http session cookie and http session this is interface http session is an interface cookie is an class this fundamental first you must know this is class component this is interface component this is client dependent this is server dependent so this http session object will be available in the server once created until we log out the session object is available in the server that is http session so we call it as server dependent 90% of our projects they prefer to take http session on demand on special specification we go with the cookie so you must know both okay right <clears throat> one assignment available on cookie to you maybe book or product i cannot remember one here some profile related thing is available here so both solutions i'll provide to you through jsp in the process of explaining jsp mvc that's the target okay right so meanwhile <coughs> so your your batches are separate right you never comes under full stack you are 100% placement batch uh, what you co what full stack java under 100% placement so we had core advanced you had spring and web service spring not included to you okay <clears throat> dev sec ops development security operational tools are included ui html css javascript angular right okay hmm. any other that's all okay right okay. spring also available to you ah. generally i know full stack not 100% there are most 22 batches i trained a full stack there that mode not this mode so in the full stack uh, core java my batches are 140 batches that is a different issue uh, 22 batches i trained full stack for them spring is there spring core spring mvc spring boot spring jdbc uh, attached with the spring they had uh, spring boot with the microservice they had that course hope that is included same to you i think hope the students cannot travel empty sets no right patience will not be there for you i think 
why I'm asking means yesterday some specifications they given to me, uh, some examination specification, fee refund or something they said to me. Hope that all not comes to you, I think. Don't know exactly. <clears throat> so in this total diagram, in this total diagram, here I drawn one blue box to you. Only one box I drawn. Here only one box. Means only one session object is created. Only one session object is created. The session object is available until user logs out. In the cookie, every time the user request is coming, <clears throat> with that request cookie is coming, separate cookie object is created with deserialization process. In the diagram also you can watch it. One, two, three. Three times I drawn cookie object. Means three requests came in, three times the cookie object regenerated. But here session object is only one. The blue lines I drawn, the session object is used. Session object once created, available until the user logs out. And here. <clears throat> One minute, let me show up. Yesterday they asked me a question, I given highest priority for Sarlet. Among advanced, I given highest priority for Sarlet. Almost 18 questions, I asked them to ask it. Among 100 questions, they had a division. So I, I prefer to give this Sarlet programming 18 to 20 questions I given in Sarlet. So all, all together, 60 questions from core and advanced I framed. So 60%. So that the student can pass very easily. So you are spending more time in core and advanced when compared to remaining so I asked them to go with 60% with core and advanced LKG, UKG. Without that, nobody can have a movement, right? So that two are basic courses, right? Look here, uh, why I open this means I want to show that session object is only one. I want to show that. So login servlet. When the login is successful, session object is created here. We are displaying that session object. It means hash code system dot out dot print ln. So I am trying to display from uh, login servlet. Login servlet. Uh, hs dot hash code this one from login servlet next the request will come to view profile servlet so we are reusing this is entire question i'll write it here one false is there no that one here i'm accessing the session i return accessing the existing session i return means accessing the existing http session object if you are accessing existing HTTP session object, hash code must be same. So it should not be different. It must be same. Let me cross check. Here. System dot out dot print element. Here, view profile. View profile hs dot hash code <clears throat> right 
uh, log out circuit we are reaccessing the session again here uh, here i am printing system dot out dot print ln this is from log out circuit So either I'll run it. Right click. Run as run on server. Click on finish. NIT dot V um, JDU six seven two login. Here the session object created with the hash code eight nine four five and so on. I am clicking on view profile. Same hash code is displayed. Can you see this? That is a proof to say that session object is once created that is reused for each request uh, until we log out when whenever we whenever we click on log out then the logic is available hs dot invalidate see there i'll click on log out same no right log out successfully why i shown this i shown the same program in the cookie also three times the uh, reference is due so not reference uh, that hash code is different here same they'll ask in the interview uh, why they will ask it means whether you have a command or not. They'll ask. Most questions are available. Uh, you can read my notes also. Means uh, titles you can read it. From the titles only the questions will come. 80 percent. So the titles are important. Request dispatcher, forward communication, include communication, beans, attribute. The titles are there. No? The titles you must remember it. And the objects you have to remember it. From there only 80 percent questions will come. Among that, if you take session tracking, four are there. I'm concentrating on two because practical also important. No, I'm spending much time on these two part. So these two are practically available in the real time market to you. So this cookie object serialized means the cookie object converted into stream and traveled and stored in the web browser coming back again and regenerating as a separate object, not only deserialization. Regenerating as a separate object, if I say orally, student may believe, may not believe. So I shown that hash code. So three times the hash code has been changed. That is a proof to say that it is regenerating the object through deserialization. Why I am saying it as server dependent here? Server dependent means the object once created, it is available in the server. It will not move anywhere. It is available in the server. The object is reused every time. Uh, get session of false, false if you are writing. We are reusing that object reference again and again. So only one object is created. That is a proof. We had a hash code here. No, that is a proof to say that three times the hash code is displayed here. So the same hash code we displayed for three times. So point. So finally, here make it uh, from the above program. What is the difference between get session get session of false get session of true? If I write true, what happens? Generally, we use first two practically for interview purpose. If anybody asked, we must say get session, get session of false, and get session of true. I 
right make it uh, this get session method this get session method uh, is used to create new session object is to create new session object this get session method is used to create new session object to create new session object <clears throat> whenever you want to create one new object we take the support of get session generally but internally one process is there sir view profile servlet example in this program now sir by mistake suppose by mistake in view profile servlet i forgot to write this false so what happens sir if i write false what happens there is this get session of false i forget it so i forget it in a in a flow of writing i written get session so what happens see there pranas pranam Nineteen dot v and uh, mjdu six seven two. Click on login. View profile. Accessing the same object. So new object is not created. Object are not now. Right. So the statement is: get session method is used to create new session object when session object is not available. If a session object is available, it access. So make a statement. Continue that. This get session method is used to create new session object. If if the session object is not available, if it is available, it access the existing session object. if available if available then get session method will access will access the existing existing session object if available then get session method will access Existing session object. Existing session object. <clears throat> Look. Here. Sorry, if I write false, what happens? So the log out and come out. here login servlet here i am writing there is this get session of false i am writing false login servlet i am writing false okay right let me run it run as run on server click on finish <clears throat> 19 dot v mjdu 
Right. So false meaning is nothing but it is trying to access the existing session object. False meaning is don't create object, you access existing object. If existing object not there, don't create the object. So the statement I'll write like this. Logins are lit. I am writing true also here. I'll run it. Any exception coming or not, we cross check by writing true. NIT dot V MJU six seven two and login. So true it is creating. So false means <coughs> get session of false means access existing session object. If it is not available, don't create a new object. That's the meaning of false. Get session of true and normal get session. Both are same. So access existing session object if available. If not available, create new object that you have to speak in the interview. Right, write the points now. Sir, get session of false. <coughs> this get session of false method is used to used to access the existing session object existing session object if available if available but it will not create it will not create new session object if not available this get session of false method is used to access the existing session object if available but it will not create new session object if not available. It has no permission to create a new session object. <clears throat> Get session of false. Same. Sorry, true. This get session of true. Of true. Method is used to create new session new session object if if the session object session object is not available same point Available then get session of true method will access existing session object.
so at this point uh, you have to speak it uh, when somebody asked okay right hope you are having clarity on both two right so major projects will be running on these two anyway remaining two are sub techniques see that i am going for the remaining two url rewrite and hidden form fields make as i adding url rewrite next two sub techniques url rewrite and hidden form fields <clears throat> the process of adding parameter values the process of adding parameter values to url pattern the process of adding parameter values to url pattern is known as url rewrite process url rewrite url rewrite <clears throat> this technique is suppose one servlet is there and one more servlet is there some information i want to send here some information i want to send here so whenever i want to send the information you can send through url rewrite you can send through hidden form fields so that information also tracking only you can use that information for tracking purpose right so for tracking purpose i can send some information so here one servlet program can send some information to another servlet program using url rewrite technique url rewrite means adding that values to your url pattern that we are calling it as url rewrite so now using make it using url rewrite using url rewrite process we can pass information from one servlet one servlet program to another servlet program one servlet program to another servlet program part of tracking process part of tracking process suppose cookie will have some information or session will have some information beyond that information some other information i want to send it then you can take the support of this techniques that's the meaning how the syntax will be there now syntax look is url pattern url pattern mean dairy all taking you know dis view edit that's called url patterns url patterns are used to identify the servlet programs for execution right here one and symbol will be there and sorry dollar wait there two minutes this original web browser that only this original web browser that only can you see here question mark can you see this question mark right same not dollar it is a question mark parameter some value and parameter some value and dot 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 url pattern one question mark question mark is a separator question mark is a separator between url pattern and the parameters their parameter name and p a r a written no parameter name and some value so here you can write that not here i written one question mark 
question mark symbol is the separator separator between url pattern and parameters separator between url pattern and parameters here i use one and symbol is the separator between parameters between parameters separator between parameters <clears throat> right i'll take one example program here how to use that you will rewrite always we had only two tables we had 45 are there always product only or total right i had only one table product so look here what i am going to do here is here we take input dot html we are reading one product code here some a11 or a22 something a11 no right a11 here some action is equal to uh, first first time taking first first time taking here retrieve based on that re tri ev retrieve now the control will come to first servlet f i r s t s e r v l e t first servlet running on url pattern first so the control will come here when the control comes here we imagine it one request object here in this request object that p code is equal to a111 now it takes the support of retrieve do re tri ev retrieve do so this retrieve r e t r i e v retrieve will take this request as parameter because the p code is available in the request 
So without your knowledge, you are collecting the data from one object to another object. Right. The return type of this is product bean. Product bean. When the product code is available, when the product code is available, I'll create one bean object here. I'll create one bean, not only product bean. Bean. Here we load that. Already you had that codes already. Code is equal to name is equal to price is equal to quantity is equal to the data is loaded. Once the bean is loaded with the data, this will return this product bean. That is PB will come. So when the product bean means the product bean is empty, means B, PB is null. Suppose PB is null. If it is null, the output should come as invalid product code. Because product code what is given not available. In valid product code. You had a good support in lab actually. Right? Okay. Because on product based billing a application, I'll give it. You have to develop it if you are interested. If support is there, you can do, I think. Input dot HTML. So we repeat that when the invalid product code comes, it is repeated. Suppose PB is not null. PB is not null means not null. Now it has to send the response. It has to send the response. How the response will be there means one hyperlink will come. HREF, one link will be displayed. It displays one link, HREF link. That HREF link is nothing but view product details. Because view product details. One HREF link. In this HREF link now, we are going to add all this data, whatever the data available here. Here HREF is equal to that URL pattern we are writing, no? Right. That URL pattern we are going to add with that data like this. Suppose I will take HREF is equal to URL pattern is a second. I will take URL pattern second. And and means a separator. I'll take parameter here. Code is equal to some value like this. I will add the data to this URL pattern. I will send it. Now, if I add that URL pattern with that data, what is available in the bin? I'll add there. For URL pattern, I'll add it. So after adding to the URL pattern now, after adding to the very important technique that is very small thing but important. Uh, the best example book my show. If you open book my show, uh, it will ask an area which area you are, Hyderabad or some other. After that, they ask to select one movie. Uh, after that, a date of uh, booking, I think, date. After that, uh, date, the theater you are selecting. In that theater, show timing. So that show timings are hyperlink that uh, HREF that uh, if you click on 2 p.m. 2 p.m. related information will come. When you click on 2 p.m. the 2 p.m. is an input that URL pattern is added with 2 p.m. The request code will go to the server and bring it. The same thing. Trains and IRCTC.co.in trains are there. So I want to make a journey from Secunderabad to some Tirupati. Some trains will be displayed. I want to see the availability. You are clicking on the train number, no? All hyperlinks will come. 
If you click on it, that information will come. Whenever you click on some hyperlink, one information is coming. No, how that information is coming means through URL rewrite process. The request is going on. That URL rewrite process will add with parameters and send it. So this technique is very important actually. It is not a major technique. Cookie and session is a major, but internally it is used as a sub technique to transfer the information from one servlet to another servlet. That's what I am showing now. Now the control is going to second servlet because href is equal to second I written. Second is a URL pattern, but that URL pattern is carrying some information that I want to see. So whenever you want to pass some information with the URL pattern, I'm using one question mark and adding the parameter and value I'm sending. So now if I click on, suppose if I click on this view product details, if I click on, that is an HRF link now. Now the control through second uh, URL pattern, the control will go to second servlet. Imagine it, the control will go to second servlet. Second servlet. The second servlet is running with the URL pattern second. Is running with the URL pattern second. The control will come here. So what kind of request now, sir? This is get request. Because coming with uh, href, no, hyperlink, it's a get request. Now, whatever the data I am sending through get request indirectly, second URL pattern followed by some data I brought it. Now, the data will come in available in the request object. The data will come and available in the request object. Whatever the data I am sending, the data will come available in the request object. Here, code, name, price, and quantity. Once the data is available here now, I can collect the data by using get parameter. So now the demonstration uh, using this concept is how can I send some information from one servlet to another servlet using URL pattern. Right. Can I construct it? Right. So DB connection is common. I can copy it. DB connection dot Java. I can copy. R-E-T-R-I-E-V. Retrieve DAO. I can copy. Uh, Product bean, I can copy because available no for us. Product bean dot Java. These three programs I can copy. See there. Dynamic web project. SCRV LAT. Servlet application 8. Here, URL. Rewrite. Build path. Configure build path. Add external jar. Servlet API. Apply. Apply and close. Under LIP, product app already there for us. Copy, paste. Uh, part of this SRC, new and uh, Package, package test, here, TB connection, product being 
retrieve DAO. Copy. Paste. DB connection. Anyway, product bin. Retrieve DAO. So retrieve DAO. Only one product details, no? No need of array list. I am modifying now. So, no need of array lists are here. No need of array list. So, public product bin pb is equal to null. Return type is product bin is the return type. So here import java x dot servlet dot http http servlet request req here is all common array list not needed product bin object created so select star from product to 45 where product code is equal to I am changing the query p code is equal to now ps dot set string parameter index 1 req dot get parameter of 1 get parameter of p code Right. Now, if it is available, the record is available on the result set. If true, I am setting to the bean. I am passing the bean. PB, I am passing. I changed it. Okay, right. We asked this. I hope you are spending more time, I think, because these logics are repeating always, because we asked you to sit more time in front of the system. Now select a star from product 45 where P code is equal to setting the P code record available here, updating the bean now and returning the bean. Okay. Now the three components are ready. Now I want input dot HTML. I want it input dot HTML. Right click on web app, new HTML, input dot HTML, click on finish. I'm taking product code here. Form tag. Action is equal to FIRST. Method is equal to post. Here, enter the product code. Input type is equal to text. Name is equal to P code. Here, input type is equal to submit. Submit value is equal to RE TRI EVE retrieve product. So, based on the P code, retrieve the product. Now, the control will go to FIRST first servlet dot Java. Now I am taking first servlet dot Java. Right click on test. New class FIRST 
ഫസ്റ്റ് സർലെറ്റ് ഇമ്പോർട്ട് ജാവ ഡോട്ട് ഐ ഒ ഇമ്പോർട്ട് ജാവ എക്സ് ഡോട്ട് സർലെറ്റ് ഇമ്പോർട്ട് ജാവ എക്സ് ഡോട്ട് സർലെറ്റ് ഡോട്ട് എച്ച് ടി ടി പി ഇമ്പോർട്ട് ജാവ എക്സ് ഡോട്ട് സർലെറ്റ് ഡോട്ട് എനോട്ടേഷൻ അറ്റ് ദി റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് വെബ് സർലെറ്റ് ഓഫ് സ്ലാഷ് എഫ് ഐ ആർ എസ് ടി ഫസ്റ്റ് എക്സ്റ്റെൻസ് ഫ്രം എച്ച് ടി ടി പി സർലെറ്റ് ഹിയർ പോസ്റ്റ് മെത്തഡ് സോ പ്രൊട്ടക്റ്റഡ് പ്രൊട്ടക്റ്റഡ് വൈഡ് ടു പോസ്റ്റ് എച്ച് ടി ടി പി സർലെറ്റ് റെക്വസ്റ്റ് ആർ ഇ ക്യു എച്ച് ടി ടി പി സർലെറ്റ് റെസ്പോൺസ് ആർ ഇ എസ് ത്രോസ് സർലെറ്റ് എക്സെപ്ഷൻ and i o exception here we are sending the parameter no right okay so print writer print writer pw is equal to res res dot get writer res dot set content type text or html so here we have to access how means product bean pb is equal to new re tri ev retrieve dao dot retrieve i am passing now if that pb equal to pb equal to equal to null then you can say pw dot print ln uh, invalid invalid product code invalid product code here session expired i am not writing because that is for cookie and http session here plain passing the information right request dispatcher rd is equal to req dot get request dispatcher control should go to input dot html now rd dot include communication req rs so whatever i drawn here i typed this one now i am concentrating on this major part now okay now if the bean is not null so what i have to do now i must generate one uh, anchor tag that is right see there pw dot print ln inside this i am writing one anchor tag observe it i am writing one anchor tag here i am writing view product details that is your uh, display so in this anchor tag here first time i am writing one html code in servlet href is equal to i must write double quotes actually so href is equal to double quotes but when you are writing in servlet program you must write single quotes when you are writing html codes in your servlet program you must write single quotes right what is the url pattern now second is the url pattern separator question mark right okay now code is equal to now code is equal to i must assign the value now the value is available in the bean now according to the diagram the value is available in the bean from bean i have to take it so i must take from the bean and i must say assign to this variable here to assign the variable see there i am writing two double quotes two double quotes means i am breaking here i am writing plus here i'll write uh, pb 
dot get code. I'm right. This is a way of writing. Now here and I'm writing and and means separator now, second parameter. Second parameter is name. I am breaking. Here I am writing pb dot get name. I am assigning. So here, from here, here I am writing and. And means separator. Price, I will write it. Price is equal to break it and write pb dot get price. I am writing. Here, I am writing and quantity is equal to pb, pb dot get quantity, I am writing. See there, with the URL pattern, I am sending the data, not only URL, rewrite, URL pattern, rewrite, it's a concept. Now, whenever I click on view product details, the total details will go to second servlet. In the second servlet, one request object will be there. That will be stored there. It's a concept. Now, suppress. That's. Now, we imagine it. The data is coming to second servlet. Now, we are writing second servlet. We are writing. We are constructing second servlet right click on test new class second serv let second servlet click on finish import java dot io import java x dot servlet import Java x dot servlet dot HTTP import Java x dot servlet dot annotation at the rate of web servlet. Somebody asked me, sir, while you are typing, you will not see anywhere. Somebody asked. Actually, we trainers are class creators, not class by headers. Your graduation trainers different. They will write total notes in the night and come. Right? We people cannot write at 12 hours per day. When you will write? We started training from 7 o'clock to evening 8 o'clock. From Monday, my batch is starting from 7.30 to 9 again. 7 batches from Monday. So sometime in the pressure mode, and how many days will prepare it? Without subject, we also cannot survive. So why I'll look down means I'll be controlling my mindset. I'm giving a live code now. If one error comes, I cannot detect it. So we create a class. We never... Uh, I had the class. We take one topic and we explain that and we create it. So we are the class creators. We come here, we generate that class and go. If you started by having the sweating will come to me. Sweating, shivering, standing, going out, seeing a book and coming. How many days will survive? Not possible. Because I am concentrating and coming. What I am writing there, what I am writing here. That's all I am writing. Second. Yesterday somebody asked that question to me. He asked one more question also. Sir, why you will speak very less? This is, somebody asked that question also. Actually, we are not graduation trainers to entertain you. Carrier over in no? This is already you wasted your four years and came here. Here also entertainment, why are not needed? No. Here also why entertainment? Already four years completed, no? Entertainment over, no? 16 years entertainment completed already. So we feel that this room is a carrier room, we feel it. We are very serious towards it in providing the subject. So who are interested, always they listen it. Who are not interested, they will not listen it. We know that. Because I am not new to this career, no? Almost 16, 17 years completed for me standing. I know that. If a student is interested, one biggest sound coming in the background also, he listen it and write it. If he is a learner, we know that. If he is a really learner, Whatever the situations, he will learn it. If he is not a learner, he never learns. So this is not a room to motivate and educate. No, Because 16 years already many teachers done that work and came. So we never entertain them. So because of this reason, I would never speak. I never crack a joke. I never laugh because career oriented. So if time is there, 
i'll deliver my best and i'll go out that only happens actually because if I, every session is important to me because management uh, given this session uh, suddenly to me actually somebody assigned this session somebody is gone to somebody's hands actually so they want me to they are under pressure actually they want to send some interviews by this 12th onwards they have to start it so moreover i am a fast track trainer so they suddenly they plug me from there and they kept here suddenly sir you the batch uh, with the shortest time with efficient way hope i feel that so one month 10 days or one month 15 days they given to me the timing so within that time only i am coordinating and coming all the syllabus i am coordinating and coming that's a plan i am doing right okay so the control will come to second survey so view product details control will come to second survey i am imagining the data is available in the request see there here extends from http servlet here the request is coming from href so it is a get request so protected protected wide i'll give all the methods and protected down some methods are there that nodes is there with me i'll add the document http protocol document at ending what are the pendings are there all documents are available with me and I'll, i'll show the documents to you here do get http servlet request req http servlet response res throws servlet exception io exception here again print writer pw is equal to res dot get writer res dot set content type text or html so here the data is available in the request you have to display so pw dot print ln product details right pw dot print ln product code is equal to it is available in the request req dot get parameter the name i given code sir where you given code means in the url rewrite i given no that name i must use it pw dot print ln br product name req dot get parameter of name pw dot print ln now product price req dot get parameter of price pw dot print ln br quantity product quantity req dot get parameter of quantity given so the program is ready i can run it so code name price quantity is available let me cross check in the url pattern once let me cross check in the url pattern once here i given code name price quantity now let me run this i forget it web dot xml second is our late dot java 
web dot xml i had under web inf new other xml web dot xml click on finish web app welcome file list welcome file here input dot html see the right click run as run on server click on finish so a 111 retrieve product so one hyperlink is coming view products the answer is coming you can see in this address bar here can you see this address bar right get request will be displayed in the address bar so you can see this address bar control c and copy it and check it this is this is and this is and so the parameters are not now this so this is this is our output so finally we can pass parameters through url pattern the process of adding parameter values to url pattern and passing the information from one servlet to another servlet is known as url rewrite process so the look will be like this here this is the application name this is url pattern and this is a separator and these are the parameters the same thing you can see in the I am accessing some Gmail. I typed here. Here, some information came in the address bar. No, copy that and check it. Copy that and check it. The same will be there. Can you see and symbol here? These are the parameters. This is algorithm parameters actually to activate that trace algorithm. It will be running on one algorithm, trice. Then your CSC, ADS is there, no advanced data structures for computer science department. In ADS, eighth unit will be there, one algorithm, trice, not algorithm. Only. But engineering student will not reach eighth unit. Right, he will read only first five units because he can write five questions. Among that five questions, three and a half questions he will write. Because of this reason, price one algorithm there also many CSS students don't know. That came into Google search engine for 16 years back. It came. It came into university by 2004. For you, change to university. Right. Look here. This is. So what you observe here now, sir? Already your search engine is running with the URL rewrite process. Observe this point. And all your get requests are search engine, sir. URL rewrite. so servlet programming also giving a flexibility to you to use url rewrite process to send the information from one servlet to another servlet so everybody clear right so here one diagram for demo purpose i pasted there 
understood it right take one assignment so based on this so total how many programs are there in your hand and so this eight uni eight programs are my programs anyway so with that one product related one assignment is there so that is nine yesterday updating edit profile that is 10 okay right now i am giving one more that is 11 right hope tomorrow sunday you are clearing it so total 11 and monday one more will come that is uh, hidden form field 11 one more application development 12 filter two programs will come so 14 and listener one program that is 15 and uh, last uh, servlet uh, collaboration one program almost 15 to 16 applications will come with that already 17 jdbc is there right so this 15 plus 17 32 will be there total count so if you go to jsp jsp fundamental 3 that is 34 to 35 mvc is 2 so 36 to 37 it will come and last el and jstl seven programs total 42 so you must practice the 42 then only your advance hours should it right total 42 count we dump it right assignment construct servlet application to to send i written product now you write book book details book details from one servlet one servlet program to another servlet program construct servlet application to send book details from one servlet program to another servlet program using using url rewrite process url rewrite process so this one same similar copy the above program make it run same similar flavor modify to book bean and practice it once so monday's class is easy only hidden form field it takes 20 minutes because above program i'll modify it hidden form field so after that i'll make a revision what has been happened till now in servlet then two more objects are pending context and config that we are going to complete on monday so monday the total complete servlet programming will be ended monday and tuesday we start filters filters listeners annotation three topics will be there after that servlet life cycle last always i will discuss servlet life cycle in the last because till now i not used init method destroy method i not used the two methods i'll use in the life cycle so they are not mandatory why it is not mandatory i'll explain it okay right that i'll give in the life cycle process in the last okay, right take a break for this week right so we are meeting on monday thank you very much for today so the how many programs total 10 10 programs plus 1 11 okay hope i'm expecting you'll complete 11 till monday right thank you very much